Welcome back to another Monday Minute. These are quick tips. We've been working our way through a series of late room tips designed to get you more comfortable. You know the auto mask tool when you're brushing stuff on in light room? Yeah, that's all right. But how about range mask by color? Crazy powerful. All right, look, I don't mean to poo-poo the auto mask. When you are brushing, that's quite powerful. But the range mask by color takes it to another level and doesn't require any brushing at all. It is really powerful. Let's take a look. So I've got this beautiful little daffodil here on this kind of moist morning. And, you know, it's an okay picture. It's, it's not great. I should have shot it at a shallower depth of field to really isolate the daffodil. But let's, uh, let's fix that with a little post-processing magic. So I've got the radial filter here. I'm going to draw it over top of my daffodil. And by default, our radial mask is affecting the area outside. I hit O, you can see where it's affecting, outside. Um, and what do I want to do to the outside? Well, I want to decrease the exposure a little bit. I want to decrease the texture, clarity, and sharpness. That all looks good. And of course, we can turn this off and on to see the difference. It's pretty slight. I want to get a new radial filter. And I'm going to also put this one on top of the first, or right next to it. I'm going to invert. And I'm just going to zero this out by double-clicking effect. So now, this range mask, or sorry, this radial filter is affecting just the flower head itself. And I can make it a little bit brighter. I can make the texture higher, the clarity higher, and maybe dehaze and saturation. And of course, I can turn that off and back on. And we can see that it's got a nice little glow to it. But let's, let's take it up a notch a little bit more. The problem is, you see that glow is extending outside the edges. Here it's hiding fairly nicely. It's not too noticeable, but I want to make sure it is definitely not noticeable. I want it to only affect the yellow petals of this daffodil. Down here I've got range mask. It's off currently. I have a choice of color or luminance. I'm going to choose color. I'm going to click the little dropper, and I'm going to click on one of the petals. And did you see that? Let's undo that for a second. Watch the brightness. See the brightness outside the petals, just in the little creases? And as soon as I click, that vanishes. Now, if I hit O, you can see how the mask is now perfectly aligned with the flower head. It's not getting all of it, though. So I can hold down Shift, get a little plus sign next to that dropper, and add a few more zones so that it will add additional colors. I also can put that back in, and I can fool with the amount. So this is kind of like the higher, the more inclusive it is. Like, hey, any shade of yellow in this region is great. Lower, it's really got to be what you put that dropper on. 50 usually works for me. I'm going to bump it up just a little bit to make sure that I get the rest of the flower. I hit O. And now we really have this flower that is popping and textured, and there is no bleed over to the outside bits. That's pretty handy. If you appreciated this quick tip, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit subscribe along with that little bell to be notified of future videos. That really helps me out and it helps you out because I'll be back with more content for you very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.